Hello economists, in this short video we will look at the scenario where the government imposes a price floor on an agricultural product and then purchases the excess production. Let's start with what we know about price floors. Price floor is a legally set minimum price. So here we have it here at PF. Um, the price that can be legally charged by sellers of the good cannot be lower than the price floor or minimum price. As you can see in this diagram, the minimum price is set above the equilibrium price, which is here. Um, therefore, at the price floor, we have a surplus because quantity supplied is here and quantity demanded is, is there. So the price intersects um, the demand curve here, but the supply curve here, creating a surplus. In a free market without this government intervention of a price floor, the forces of demand and supply would um, push the price back down to the equilibrium. Now, we know that governments intervene in a free market for a reason. And, this, and in, in this example, we are going to look at what happens when governments intervene to make sure farmers are guaranteed a price for their product above the market equilibrium price so that they are guaranteed a certain level of income. This example relates to price control in agricultural product markets, such as wheat or corn. Farmers' incomes when their products are sold in free markets are often unstable or too low. Unstable incomes may be due to the price elasticity of supply being relatively inelastic, as it, um, farmers simply cannot respond to changes in price in the short term due to the length of time it, it takes to change production levels in an agricultural industry. The consequences of governments imposing price floors in agricultural markets include the price floor creates a disequilibrium because quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. Before the price floor, the consumer surplus, which we know is the um, area above the price and below the demand curve, before it was A, B and C. Um, and producer surplus was D and E. So the equilibrium, that's where your consumer and producer surpluses sat. Marginal benefit in, an in a free market is equal to marginal cost, but after the price floor, marginal benefit is less than marginal cost because society is getting too much of the product. Also after the price floor, the consumer surplus is just left at A, this area, and um, producer surplus is now B, um, C and D and E, plus this new gain, which is F, because you're looking at the um, um, above the supply curve and below the price. Therefore, there's a gain of um, this area F with a price floor. Okay, so what happens then? After imposing a price floor, the government then intervenes further to buy up the excess produce. Because we know that we have a surplus, government comes in and once again um, acts. So they've done the price floor, the first action, and now they're going to buy up the surplus production. Um, and so if, you know, to note before we do that, that if they didn't intervene, um, the farmers would be forced to sell their excess output that doesn't have any buyers um, by lowering their price back to the equilibrium to get rid of their um, excess output or their surplus. But this obviously doesn't happen um, uh, in this case because the government is coming in to purchase the extra produce. So after the government purchases, a welfare loss is created as governments are using taxes, which could be better spent. So they're creating opportunity cost. They're using tax dollars to maintain the price at the PF by buying up the excess production. Um, now, governments will pay the price floor to buy up this extra excess supply um, between QS and QD. And um, as we know that producers have gained F, the net welfare loss is this area of C, E and G. I put this lovely um, boundary on it and, and coloured it in a little bit so you can see. 
Uh, so producers have gained F through the rest of the rectangle, which is this amount of quantity times by the price, so Q, Q, D to QS, the X that the government has bought up at PF. And um, the welfare loss is represents the allocated inefficiency caused by the overallocation of resources to the production of this good. Marginal benefit, as I said, is less than marginal cost when QS is produced because society would be better off if less of the good were produced. To sum up, some of the impacts of, this, of the government purchases include Governments need to identify what to do with the excess supply. So they've come in and bought all this excess supply. What are they going to do with it? Firms are inefficient. Resources are over allocated. There is a welfare loss to society. It's created by this shape. Uh, consumers are worse off as they have to pay the price floor, the higher price. Producers gain, which is of course the main point of the price floor. Workers also might gain from more employment. Government incurs costs and the burden of working out what to do with the excess of product. Uh, the impacts on other countries um, depends on their own government's policy and what is done with the excess supply from our country. Depending on the specific scenario and the details given, you can then evaluate whether or not the price floor is a justifiable government intervention in an agricultural product market. Thank you.